welcome to another children's message at Christ Lutheran Church in Sterling Heights. Can you look over my shoulder again today? You see that water? That water is kind of yucky and dirty, isn't it? I'm at a pond at George George Memorial Park in Clinton Township. And I'm here to tell you another good neat Good News Jesus Bible Story, and the name of my Good News Jesus Bible Story this week is Woman at the Well. So put on your listening ears and listen to that story, and then we'll come back and we'll visit about this very important water story. Okay, see you in a couple minutes. Tired from walking a long way, Jesus rested at a well in a place called Samaria. His disciples went to get food while he rested, the sun was high in the sky. Whew, Jesus was hot. His tongue was as dry as a wad of sheep's wool. He was very thirsty. A Samaritan woman came to the well to get water. Will you give me a drink? Jesus asked. She gave him a puzzled look. Jesus was a Jew, and she knew that most Jews didn't like people from Samaria. Why are you asking me for a drink? She asked. If you knew who I was, Jesus answered, you would ask me for living water. Now the woman was really puzzled. Sir, she said as she pointed to the well, the well is deep and you don't have a jar. Where will you get this living water? Jesus smiled. Everyone who drinks from this well will be thirsty again, but the water I bring lasts forever. What the woman didn't understand was that Jesus wasn't talking about water you drink. He was talking about living water, love that forgives, and life that lasts forever with God. As Jesus explained more, the woman became more and more interested she wanted to hear more. So Jesus told her more, lots more. Jesus knew all about her, about where she came from and what she believed. As they talked, the woman's eyes began to twinkle. I know the Messiah is coming, she said. I've heard all about him. Jesus smiled and put his hand on the woman's shoulder. I am the Messiah, he said gently. The woman was so surprised, she nearly spilled her water jar. As the disciples came back with food, the woman rushed past them. She was so excited to tell everyone about what Jesus had said. The woman ran all over town telling people about what she had seen and heard. There's a man at the well who says he's the Messiah. He has amazing things to say. Come and see him for yourself. The people came running to see Jesus. Many people believed in Jesus because of what he told them that day. Hi again, everyone. Welcome to the second half of our children's message this week. Have you noticed that my background has changed? Well, in today's story, a woman comes to the well and Jesus meets her at the well. And Jesus asked for a cool water to drink. And the woman says, how are you going to get a drink of water? But Jesus wasn't talking about the water that we drink. Jesus was talking about himself. And Jesus says that he is like a living water that gushes up to heaven, that gushes up to God. Well, one of the parts of the story today is that the woman realizes that Jesus knows everything about her. And the good news of our Bible story today is that Jesus knows everything about us too. And that's why I started our children's message at the pond, at the yucky water, at the dirty water. And it's a reminder that we make lots of mistakes, that we have some parts of our lives that we're not very proud of, and that aren't very nice and aren't very good. And you know what? Even though Jesus knows everything about us, Jesus still 
loves us. And what Jesus does is he takes us away from that life and he gives us this kind of life. He gives us a life that gushes up to eternal life so we get to live forever with God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit in heaven. The next time you see a body of water, a lake, or a pond, or a fountain, or if you even take a drink of water yourself, you remember that even though you make mistakes, that Jesus forgives you and Jesus loves you no matter what. Okay, have a good week. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.